Here we go. Seven, two, three, and eight, two, three, and... So, we are doing a lot of stuff in this just tightly packed eight bar piece. Uh, I'm going to teach most of it facing, facing the back so that you can kind of follow along on the same foot and whatnot. Not have, to, not have to, you know, choose, okay, his right means my left. Yeah, none of that. We're just going to go straight forward. So, first rhythm, we're going to go seven, two, three, and eight, two, three, and three. So it's right on the one. Eight, two, three, four, bang. We're doing a bang to diddly toe, which is, I'd like to say, a, a, one of my own making. Um, I have a video on that on my own channel if you want to learn more about it, but it's bang to diddly toe. Okay. Um, a simpler way of doing it without the heel drop would just be bang treble and toe. Bang, treble, and toe. You want to make the bang and the treble basically one movement. You know, so and you just drop that heel. I would say almost the lazier you can make that heel, the better. If you think too hard about it, that heel won't kind of fit in the right space. It's a weird thing, uh, <laughs> but it's almost like just just that natural um, almost puts it in the right spot as to opposed to overthinking and putting it somewhere where it should be. Okay, right off of that, we're gonna go into a double click. On my own steps, so you know that there's gonna be a chalk hole. Bunch of heel clicks, usually. There's a lot of heel clicks. This is the first one. So, add the two together. Okay, seven, two, three, and eight, two, three, and three. Okay, if you're feeling extra sassy with it, you can actually drop the heel in the double click as well. Um, either or there. <laughs> Anywho, um, the next thing we're going to click forward into a um, drum heel, I think it is. Yeah, some of these moves I really don't have a name for. So, if you can think of a great name for some of these tricks, put them in the comments below. That's what I always say, because I'm terrible at naming these, these tricks. Okay, so the... You want the drum to be a triplet, you want it to be fast. And then the next part is very choppy, it's, it's slow moving rhythms. Okay? Okay? So... Not really sure how you can separate that, but just that on its own. Two, three, and. Two, three, and. Okay. So. Okay. Here we go. Seven, two, three, and eight, two, three, and. Okay. From there, you're going to want to. I believe. Yeah. So. Okay. So. <laughs> Some of these steps, when you break them down to the slow speed, it's almost harder to do. Then, then it's like full speed when you just kind of, you know, you don't have to stop at all. Uh, here we go, two, three, and uh... So it all kind of just flows together. It's very tightly sealed, seamless in its construction. So um, part of it just heavily relies on just the practice of it and the repetition to get that efficient with it and understand the balancing of it. Because the first couple times you practice this, it, it'll take some time to get the balance correct so that you can move at the right speed with it. So take it nice and slow. Seven, two, three, and eight, two, three, and... Into a slow treble and... 
and a fast shovel and a drum. So shovel. So shovel. Okay. Okay. So if we took pack that in, so the. Scott Doherty, this little piece right here is, I believe, his of his making. I learned it from him, so now I'm teaching it to you. <laughs> so shout out to him. Love this trick. Love this rhythm. It always has a, it has a nice ring to it. Um, yeah, fit very well with this crazy step. So. So to add that into what we have already, we did our four, two, three, and now we're going into five, two, three, and six, two, three, seven. So we're we're, we're roughly halfway through the step. That's kind of your halfway point. Okay. One more time. Seven, two, three, and eight, two, three, and. Now, <laughs> it doesn't get easier. Sorry. Um, <laughs> we're going to be doing into a pick up shovel, heel, heel. Okay? So off the toe, pick up shovel, heel, heel. Okay? And you're going to have that lifted third ready on the left foot. Okay? I also teach this kind of combination on my channel. <laughs> Shameless plugs for days. Um, the end of it. Um, if you want to learn that a little bit further, hop on over to there. Um, we're going to keep rolling so that this video is not 40 minutes long. All right, so from there we go. Okay, trouble. Heel, heel, step. Now we're going to be doing an off treble, slow to a fast off the back foot. So a slow treble on the left foot, and a fast treble switching on the right. Okay? So, it goes. <laughs> and hold your balance. Um, from there, it's actually a treble and toe, a fast treble to the back. So you'd be on your left foot from there. Okay, so. From there, <laughs> from there, oh, and also off troubles. Those things is also on my channel. Yay! <laughs> if you want more uh, insight onto that trick, that's also on my channel. It's all connected, right? That's, you know, that's what we do. Um, into a triple click, into a triple click that has the space of a double, meaning that triple click almost sounds like a triplet or like a fast treble. Okay. Just think fast treble, triple click. 
fast triple click. Um, normally we have this much time to do a triple click, I'm giving you this much time. So it needs to be faster. Um, this one. Um, from the drum heel part, this, from the doherty, two, three, and... Triple click and toe. Um, <laughs> and treble, and treble to the left. Sorry. Let me take it in. Okay, again, some of these steps, like when you slow it down, you're like, what did I actually do? So bear with me on that. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I think we're doing two two slow travels next. No, one one slow travel. Yeah. The regular slow shovel. Jump and shovel into two fast shovels, very gallopy. Into another off shovel. Okay. Into. Okay. Again, off trebles, I have a video of that if you want extra help on that. But it's really it's a lot, a lot to do with scooting. Just a, just enough scooting your back foot. Uh, and uh, knowing where the balance starts and ends. Into and that's it. <laughs> and that's that should be the la the ending. Pretty sure that's the ending. <laughs> so let's take it from the top and talk through it. Seven, two, three, and eight, two, three, and <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> into the off treble there. I even lost the balance there. But yes, that fits. Fits the eight bars. <laughs> eight, two, three. So it'll bang on it. It'll be an eight, two, three. Okay. Seven, two, three, and eight, two, three, and. Yeah. Holy moly. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's do that one more time. I'd like to hit my clicks. <laughs> um, they're shaky, uh, definitely. Um, so, you gotta at least practice the consistency of it. Here we go. Seven, two, three, and eight, two, three, and... <laughs> it is definitely a wind sprint of a step. Uh, you are constantly going high gear on that whole piece. Um, really cool stuff. Uh, so again, really tricky step. Doesn't give you really much time to breathe at all. So if you could do the step, awesome. That's amazing. <laughs> I, I mean, it's, it's tough. Um, this is a tricky, tricky step kind of going above and beyond. Again, I have some videos on my channel where I break down and isolate some of those tricks that make it a little bit easier. Once you know those tricks, it kind of putting it into a step is kind of the next level of it. So if you want more help, it's going to be over there. Um, but yeah, 
Um, otherwise, it's just fun to see how these like crazy steps are put together. Really, when you see it on the Instagram and all that, it's just like a blur. You're know, like, what just happened? Um, it's always fun to, I think it's always fun to see how it's slowed down and, and put together. Whether you can do the step or not, it's fun to see how they're made. Keep dancing, keep having fun, and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.